Hello, and welcome to our digital FMV arcade. I'm Chorpsaway. I'm the rootin' tootin' J of Spade. <laughs> I'm Future Friend, and I'm far funnier than that last guy. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Teog, and this is literally the very first video game I ever played in my life. Oh, man. <laughs> That's so sad. It all went downhill since, huh? Uh-huh. Does uh, does Mad Dog McCree actually count as a video game? <laughs> Fuck yeah, it does. <laughs> Motherfucker, you shoot a lot of dudes in this, and you get shot by a lot of dudes. I mean, basically, this is what Red Dead Redemption wants to be. Yeah. Spray a little lead in harm's way. Damn, that looked like it hurt. <laughs> oh, they're professionals. So they don't show that it hurts. But uh, the mayor's daughter, you lay your eyes on her, you see what Is this what happens when you put a quarter in, or...? <laughs> this is before you put the quarter in. Oh, God, this old pervert is immediately trying to hook us up. We just went to town, <laughs> motherfucker. Come on, we're just trying to settle down. ...and his outlaws, you need to do a few things. First, Grab your fucking gun. <laughs> so because this is the first of its kind, basically, it goes through this, like, really weird tutorial to explain how to shoot a plastic gun. <laughs> sure help you. Third, when you see a road sign or a fork in the road... But yeah, so Mad Dog McCree is the um, first game to come out of American Laser Games, who in 1990 kind of, I guess, pioneered a uh, full motion video as a video game option. Around these parts. Well, uh, aside from, like, Dragon's Lair. Well, yeah, I guess, like, FMV is, like, live action. If you are, mm -hmm. you better take up some target practice first. I feel like that's, uh, like, kind of segmented up into, uh, like, the laser disc games, the, the, yeah, basically the, like, the gun games, and then when things started getting into, like, more puzzle games type stuff. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, yeah, like, the light gun stuff. This and, like, the action max and shit like that. Well, technically, yeah. uh, in the 70s, Nintendo did a very similar thing to, like, a Mad Dog McCree with, like, the, with, uh, it's, um, a uh, gunfight. But mm -hmm. that was, like, very different technology. So, Chirps, you did mod your TV to play this game with a light gun, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I own all of these laser discs. Right. Chirps has a very steady hand. <laughs> McCree's gang is taking over the town. The mayor and his daughter have been taken hostage out to Mad Dog's hideout. The sheriff, he's locked up in jail. We're gonna have to get him out to help with the gang. Nah, I say hey, keep him there. Good. <laughs> Let him tiss a little of his own justice. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Troy. Damn, dude. <laughs> I think one bullet was enough. <laughs> Disagree. It's good shooting, stranger. Hey, what I was gonna tell you is the keys to get the sheriff out of jail are with one-eyed Jack. And he's in the saloon drinking. Now go get him! I like that you can let the the old man die. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> go commit murder. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he wants out of us. Damn! Shorts is <laughs> machine gun fingers over here. <laughs> I find that with a lot of these games, I'm not always sure where the hitbox actually is. Mm -hmm. So generally I shoot for safety rather than for accuracy. Be careful, that's Mad Dog's boys over there. You didn't try really hard to like be quiet about that, buddy. Yeah, the dude's literally right next to you. He might be able to hear you better than the guy you're trying to talk to. Oh man, it's Kurt Russell, look at him. <laughs> I was actually gonna say he looks a lot like TJ Miller. <laughs> hey, Chorps, have you played this game before? It almost seems like you know where they're gonna pop up. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, this is pure reaction. <laughs> Unfortunately, I think that's kind of the only way to play this game. <laughs> uh huh. No, this game is. It is extremely. Like, all of these fucking games are built to. You need to play them a whole bunch of times or else you have no chance. We will yeah. get to see that later. <laughs> I love that he puts it in your mouth like you're a fucking uh -huh. dog. <laughs> <laughs> so I will say there's some interesting things in this game that, like, make it more than just, like, an interactive movie. Like, there are 
break points in the story. Like, you can let the... Like, I think uh, Jay said before, you can let the prospector die, you can let the uh, bartender die, and you don't get that clue about um, Mad Dog wearing a bulletproof vest. Mm -hmm. It's like, it does reward good play. (laughs) In more than just, like, letting you see the rest of whatever they filmed. Mad Dog! You don't stand a chance. Well, the sheriff's free, so we don't have to do anything else. He'll take care of the rest. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sheriff will solve this. <laughs> Good job, Sheriff. So, so as far as I can tell, you can't save the sheriff there. That's not a break point. Because I tried shooting that guy with, like, a full clip, and he still got hit. You cannot save the sheriff. <laughs> so so up. that entire part is just complete fucking waste. So, if this is your first video game, Tayok, did you beat it? No. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely fucking not. Okay, I was gonna say, it's probably shit like this. There's a guy in that window. Uh-huh. That's the first, like, really, like, oh, you're not actually supposed to beat this game. So they release right. this game on PlayStation 3, and you get an achievement if you die to the man in the window. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That makes a lot of sense, but fuck that guy. Yeah. Like, I just think it's buck wild that they're putting in these huge... Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love the way he spins that mule. Yeah. <laughs> but for, like, a game that's, like, reasonably, like, you know, they, they give you direction on who you're shooting at, it's very strange that they'll just throw in these, like, huge gotchas. But I get it because it's, like, an arcade game, right? They need money. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's an arcade game. It was set up right next to the whack-a-mole table, you could tell. <laughs> <laughs> also, like, if I remember correctly, a lot of these FMV games, because of the expenses to make them, cost like a dollar to play each time. Yeah, they were expensive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shoot them well, in the ass. Uh, whoop. <laughs> Well, there are some enemies that you have to shoot twice. They'll just do, like, this huge animation. Mm-hmm. So you always got to be prepared. Like, if nothing else, Mad Dog McCree prepares you to, like, be on your toes at every fucking point. Because you never know when they're just going to throw some bullshit at you. Well, that's just good life advice. Yeah. I mean, like, especially if you're from the Wild West. That sound clip right there, I have heard so many times because fuck this part. <laughs> <laughs> that dude. I think that was Dougal from Father Ted. <laughs> <laughs> and I think something else impressive, even in the first game, is like they'll have sections like this where all of the enemies die off screen, so they can do these in a randomized order, so that every playthrough is slightly different. Which is bad if you're pumping dollars into it. Mm -hmm. Really good if you're just, like, looking at it, you know, like, as an exploratory thing. Yeah. But, like, for an extremely linear experience, it does give replay value, technically. So that part, (laughs) where you should approach from or not approach from, is also uh, randomized. Yeah. Oh, wow, you got that really it's... easily. <laughs> well, the thing is, if I let it go any longer, I found that uh, my accuracy goes down way low. Mm-hmm. So I feel like I have to shoot it immediately. I think you should have let the prospector die. Like, you had it in the town and he was already trying to control your life. He's not a good friend. <laughs> so to shoot out the gold mining pan. So yeah, so they tell you two specific items to shoot at the uh, mine and then give you a map, which is also randomized, and also you never get to see it again. Kind of a shot you are, so I hope you memorized the route to the, um, <laughs> to the, uh, the hideout. I didn't, but I'm sure I'll make fun of you for forgetting it anyway. Thanks. Is this the hardest part of the video game because it's a moving target? Nice. Yes. Try another one. Uh, moving targets in these games are a nightmare to deal with. <laughs> and that'll come up a lot later as we get into, like, moving enemies. 
So um, in this section, they'll present you with a left and a right sign, and you have to hit the left and right in the order provided by the map. And then occasionally just like a random shootout will happen also. Mm -hmm. Do you have like 12 shots? Yeah, so shooting the, um, the skulls in various parts of the game will give you additional bullets to your holster. Wow. Um, in later games, there'll be one time. In this game, it just gives you 12 mm. bullets. And so I can be a lot less accurate, as you can see here, where I'm just, like, letting out an entire <laughs> load on someone. The, the cylinder on your revolver just grows each time. It looks like a t- right. it looks like a handheld Tommy gun. <laughs> I just love whenever like they have the one frame of the guy popping out and it's the blurriest mess. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna be dead. You've only got one life left. So this is something I wasn't able to figure out. I don't know if it starts you at the beginning of the route or at the part where you died. <laughs> if you hit the wrong direction, you just get ambushed and die. <laughs> Looks like this good old boy has seen his last gunfight. Time to take him to Boot Hill. So anyways, that's the kind of game that Mad Dog is, and that's what you should be prepared for as we continue on into the American Laser Games uh, ouvoir. Yeah. So does that imply that we were still alive whenever he takes us to uh, Death Hill? Yeah. No, he's just a necromancer. Oh my god. (laughs) You're a ghost. It's called Boot Hill because just before they bury you, they put their boot up your ass. (laughs) (laughs) Well, that's to preserve the body. (laughs) Did they tell you to shoot the... The chimney? No, you just have to figure out what's going on there. Yeah, and that one part is really great because you have to shoot like three people and then not the fourth one. Do not right. shoot the fourth one. Also, there's a guy in the smoke and fuck you if you didn't see him. He'll mm-hmm. shoot you immediately. Well, it, it's just good that they released this game originally in 4K for movie theaters. It was a lot easier right. to tell then. You know, mm-hmm. chirps. I do gotta be honest, like, uh, this video is giving me an interesting subject that I'm glad is going to get answered at the end. Who is a better gamer, a 10-year-old Dane or 25-year-old American? (laughs) You know, it's a good question. Also, I love that in that hotel sequence, you can see that they shrunk down the actors. So they're like (laughs) half-sized little cowboys shooting at your kneecaps. Yeah. That button, stranger! Uh, Mad Dog, can you be a little louder? (laughs) So, again, he has a bulletproof vest, so you can't shoot him in the chest. You have to shoot the gun out of his hand both times. Wait, I thought you were supposed to shoot him in the head. No. Well, I mean, his gun's right there. His head is a gun. And that is the story of Mad Dog McCree. He's still out there. But for now, the Wild West is at peace. I told you, you should have shot him in the head. (laughs) The worst Uno cards. (laughs) Well, you still got two credits left. We're going to play through again? Yeah. (laughs) 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 Ah, the credits are great.